turns out. Brian Miskimmons is here to talk a little weather, and we really did have a pleasant day today. It was very pleasant. A yeah. lot of people out taking advantage of the sunshine, the break in between the systems, we might say, and a lot of spectacular photos being sent in to, <laughs> by you, the viewer. In fact, this one sent in to us from Darlissa Black there in White Salmon. A beautiful sunset. She said she took this last night, said she didn't think there was going to be much in the way of color, and then voila, Mother Nature provided with beautiful colors. And this picture, I think, pretty much sums it up. Coming into us from Bob O'Brien. Thanks so much, Bob, for sending that in from Waldport. Signs of a change are rolling in. You can see it coming in from the the west, but before that change rolled in, our temperatures outside actually were quite nice today. In the 40s outside right now, if you have plans to head out, we'll stay there all through the night because uh, the clouds kind of acting like a blanket, keeping the, the cap on the temperatures. 48 at this hour in Portland as well as Corvallis, 48 as well in Tillamook, 39, one of the chillier spots in Bend. Daytime highs about average actually this time of the year. Portland 51, same there for Salem, 52 in Eugene and Medford. East of the Cascades, 30s, 40s, and a 52 there for the Dallas. And morning lows this morning, well, not all that cold for late February. 37 here in Portland, 34 in Salem, 19 there, 18, I should say, in Redmond, and 15 in Burns, and 18 in Kay Falls. Now, live 3D pinpoint Doppler, not a whole lot happening over the entire two state region, just a lot of high clouds starting to move in. And out along the coast, more of a thicker cloud. This front, though, it's going to roll right on in as we go through the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. Behind that front, some showers lingering for tomorrow. But nationally, remember that front we had blow through here on? Uh, Friday. That's now since made its way down to the desert southwest and now up into Denver. In fact, take a look at this video brought to us from Denver today. Just a mess. In fact, my sister lives there. She called and said, not going anywhere. They're expecting six to 12 inches of snow today on top of what they already had. And of course, you can see semis off the road. And of course, this looks all too familiar to what uh, we're kind of used to dealing with every once in a great while here, especially in the Columbia River Gorge and the Cascades. Now, raincast, as we put this into motion, you'll see in general, not all that bad tonight. Night, but the rain definitely does pick up as we go through the night. And then it leaves us with showers. Can't rule out an isolated T storm as we go through the day tomorrow. Also, up in the Cascades, quite a bit of snow flying up there. Then that break rolls in for Tuesday. It's going to be one of those weeks where we get to kind of a system every other day. And that next system rolls in Tuesday night and Wednesday and actually leaves us with mostly dry conditions. Snowcast, 6 to 12 inches possible for all the ski resorts between now and Tuesday morning. So another good snowmaker up there. And then we'll get some more spring like skiing conditions as we go later in the week. Along the coast, showers, breezy, sun breaks, isolated tea storms, you name it. Highs in the 40s. Same goes for the I 5 corridor. Order. Overnight lows tonight, upper 30s to lower 40s. East of the Cascades, snow and rain at times tomorrow in a windy afternoon. Gusts there up to 40 to 45 miles per hour, especially in the afternoon. For the Cascades, snow level about 2,000 feet. A winter weather advisory up there for 5 to 9 inches. Rain turning to showers in the gorge. Couldn't rule out an isolated T storm. Highs in the 40s. Winds gusting there to 45 in the afternoon as well. In, in the metropolitan area, showers, sun, breezy, isolated T storms, mainly up near the Cascade foothills. 48 in the afternoon for Hillsborough. As well as Lake Oswego. Zooming over to the east side, upper 40s after morning lows in the upper 30s to low 40s. And to the north side, upper 40s there as well after morning lows near 38 for Scappoose. Out the door in the morning, showers and breezy, isolated T storms popping up as we go into the afternoon. We are getting to that time of year where we can't see that, but they'll be isolated if they do pop up. Tuesday, mostly dry, otherwise, some evening rain rolling in. A few sprinkles possible Wednesday, but at this point, I'm still holding out. I'd say right now at this point, midday Friday to midday Saturday can look to be our driest time. So if you have plans, that's the time to, to plan washing the car and mowing the yard. Yeah, it really seems like it's going to be a wet week ahead, huh? Yeah, it's off and on, not not a down or downpour, or, you know, goalie washer, as you might not say. Not steady. Okay. Yes, exactly. All right. All right. Thanks <laughs> yeah. a lot, Brian.